Hello everyone, I am Suman. So in this video, we will discuss what are the different ways through which you can just create a NumPy arrays. So in the previous video, we have just discussed what is an array and how to create an array using Python package. So we just have an package to create an array in Python. So we just uh, seen how to create using that Python package. So if you didn't watch that video, I will just give you that in the description. So yeah, when it comes to this video, let's see what are the different ways you can just create array using NumPy package. So first thing is, so first let's import the NumPy package. So I just imported NumPy and so we just have inp.array. So in order to create an array, so for that, uh, so you can see np.array of if we can see what are the arguments we can just pass to this like we can just pass uh, a list and it will just convert that to an array so we can see so again i will just pass np.array of and i will just give a list of values and if i can give enter you can see we just got an array like it just converted this list into array right and you can see we can able to pass only and we just know right uh, array in the sense we, just, we can able to pass only so it can have only uh, elements of same data type so you can see all the elements which are just given in this uh, which are just passed in this list or integers so if when i just pass like when i just give a float here so when i just enter here so what it does means so we know that we know right so array means we just we should have only a one data type um, so that's the reason why it just converted the remaining integers to float as well so you can see we just have an array of all the values as float so that's right that's an umpire so we can just create that using this uh, np dot array and so this is an one dimensional array right so one dimensional in the sense we, we just have we can just have only a row or column only one like only one dimension so similarly we can just have a zero dimension also zero dimension in the sense we don't have any uh, any dimensions so we can, for example we can just take an element right a number let's take one so one is an zero dimensional array so when i just pass instead of this list when i just pass a value here so you can see uh, we just have array we just so even it just converted this zero to an array so this is a zero dimensional array so if you just want to check uh, what's the dimension of your array so we can just uh, give so we can see when i just give a dot an dimension so you can just see what's the dimension of your array so since this zero is a single element we don't have any dimensions so that's the reason why we just got zero similarly you can just uh, similarly which we just created previously so this is an uh, one dimensional array so you can see the dimension is one and you can just create uh, n dimensions right or uh, two three four or whatever dimensions you want you can just create and generally what we does like what we did in python package is so we used to uh, if we just want uh, a two dimensional array we used to pass a nested list right so even that we just discussed in that video so you can see i just so you can see I just pass a nested list. So when I just print a here, so you can see it's a two-dimensional array, right? It's just a type of matrix. So when I just take what's the dimension, you can see our dimension is two. And so in, instead of passing this nested list, so if you want to create a five-dimensional array or six-dimensional array, let's say let's take if you want to uh, get that. So what what we can just do is. Uh, a is equal to np dot array and if you can see the argument so we just have n dimension right here n dimension is equal to 0 so defaultly it will just the dimension will be 0 so we can just change right so i will just give n dimension is equal to 5 so when i just give enter so the so you can see for if i just uh, print this so you can see we just got so it just converted this a uh, single list to a five dimensional array 
so you can see that here so using this single argument n dimension so you can just create n dimensional array so that's how you can just create n dimensional array so if you just check what's the dimension you can see it's 5 so this is the way you can just use this np dot array uh, method to create an uh, arrays and similarly we just have few other ways you can just create so let's discuss that so we just have some functions right we just have some functions in uh, array so through which you can just create so in that the first function is arrange right in generally in python we just have a range function right so similarly here we just have arrange function so i will just use np dot arrange of so when i just give shift tab you can see the explanation here so we just give what's the starting value and what's the stop value and the step right so let's let's give some value here so we'll just give some five right np dot arrange of five so you can see it just created a, an array of five values so let's take a 10 so you can see it, it will just create an array of 10 elements so let's give some start and end value also and let's start with 10 and end with 20 so you can see so it just started from 10 and it just uh, ended up to 20 right so even here you can see it just printed only up to like it just printed like it just uh, given only up to n minus 1 value like 20 minus 1 so that you can see here and if i just give a step value as 2 so you can see we can just get right so similarly this step as when you just give step it will just uh, print accordingly so this is an uh, other uh, function other method through which you can just create an array so even there is another method so that's a lin space so i will just use np dot lin space of so if we can see uh, even here we just have start or uh, stop and like how many numbers you just want to print in that range and you can see the arguments here so what it will do like what's the difference between this arrange and lin space means like it will just uh, create an array with evenly spaced values so that's the reason right lin space so so it will just create an array with evenly spaced values let's understand this with example so we'll just give uh, one and 100 and in the in between this 1 to 100 i just want some 10 values so i will just give 10 here so when i just give enter so you can see we just got some 10 values here so what's the difference between this arrange and lin space means so what it will do means so when you just give 1 to 100 so it will just uh, divide that range into equal parts so so you can see the difference between this uh, 12 and 1 is 11 right and 23 and 12 is 11 right so similarly we just got an equally spaced array right so that's the speciality of this lin space so even through this lin space you can just create an array right so you can see we just create an uh, like we just created an array here this is an other way you can just create and similarly uh, uh, np.log space right so how this lin space have created an equally spaced values so what that log space will do means it will just create an equally spaced value in log scale right so what it will do means so let's when i just give np dot log space of uh, if i just give some one comma two right uh, and i will just give some uh, five values here so you can see so you just written some uh, five values here so what it will do means it it will just convert these uh start value and uh, end value to a logarithmic scale logarithmic uh, logarithmic values and in that logarithm in that log scale it will just divide these values equally so then it will just uh, uh, give you the values here so so that's the difference between this lin space and log space the idea is same it will just give some equally spaced values but uh, on what scale it's just converting so in the log space it will just convert these normal values to a logarithmic val uh, log values so generally uh, for the it will just convert to the base of 10 so and it will just divide that values into the number of values you just given here so since we are just given 5 so it will just divide that 5 equal parts and accordingly it will just return those values so even through this log space you can just get an array so if you just want to create an array of 
uh, same values right so you just want to create some array of five zeros or ten zeros so you can't create right you can just you can't create like zero like you can you can't create like this for 10 values and you can just you can't convert that to array right so it's a bit complicated task so what you can just so what you can just do is so you can just use np dot zeros of so how many how many zeros you want uh, you can just specify here so i will just give it 10 values so when i just give so it just uh, you can see it just return an array of 10 values so even through np dot zeros you can just create uh, array right but array but not uh, different like it's an array of same values right so that's the difference so that you have to remember for example let's say um, even through this right np np dot zeros of temp instead of this single array if you want to create some array of your wish so you can just give so you can just see we just have shape right so what you can just do is uh, you can just pass a tuple right you can just pass it you can just pass a tuple and you can just specify the shape you want so i'll just give mm, i'll just give some three comma three by three three by three matrix so you can see oh you just created an array with three by three matrix right so that's that's uh this np dot zero so and similarly if you want to create some np dot ones like if you want to create a one right how we created zero so even for that we just have np dot ones of function and you can then specify right you can just specify whatever values you want so you can see just created an array of ones and this is for zeros and ones right and if you want to create an array of with values of your wish like let's say i just want to create an array of uh i just want to create an array with my name right i just want to create an array like uh, array of 10 values with only my name right if i just want to create so even you can just do that so for that you can just use np dot full of so you can just give the shape here so i just want uh let's say some uh, 10 values right I, I just i said right 10 values and what value i just want to fill so i will just give fill value equal to a my name right so i will just give Suman. so when i just give enter so you can see it just converted this like it just created an array with my name so you can just see it just created an array with 10 values with my name right so yeah you can just if you want to create an array of uh, element of your wish you can just do that using this np dot full right and similarly we just have some more functions some few functions so for example let's say so let's store this array so i just uh, store this so I will just store this np dot zeros of uh, three by three uh, matrix in A. And for example, let's say I just want to create an array with uh, a ones, right? I just want to create an array with a one value, right? With a value one uh, of shape A, right? I just want to use this shape A, and I just want to create a my own array, right? I just want to create my own array with a value one. So what you can just do is so you can just use zeros like uh, function so and we dot oh we just want to create ones right so i can just use uh, ones ones like right ones like of you just want to here you don't, you don't need to uh, specify the shape so you can just uh, give the uh, array so i will just give ones like of a so you can see we just got so you can see we just got uh uh ones of the shape uh, a right so you can see that's what this one's like so here you need to specify the shape here so you can just pass an array of shape you want so you can see this array is of this array is of shape three by three right so you can just pass that array so it will just default it will just take that uh, array of that uh, shape of the array so you can see we just create this and similarly you can just create right uh, np dot zeros like We just have zeros like right so similarly you can just pass an array name uh, like uh, an array and you can just get that uh, array right so you can just use that and similarly np dot full like also uh, so if you want to generate some random data right so even through that you can just create an array so for example let's say 
so i will just use np dot so you can see we just have in this np pandas numpy package we just have a random module right so in this module we will just use so you can see we just have a few functions here so we just use np dot rand i'll just use np dot rand n off and if you can see the explanation here so when i just use some 10 value rand, uh, np dot random dot rand n of 10 so you can see we just got some 10 values so some 10 random values right so we just got this uh values like you, you can see we just got some uh, 10 values so if you want to see the explanation like how that random values are generated so you can see the explanation here return a sample from the standard normal distribution right so it will just take some range and it will just convert that range to some normal distribution like standard normal distribution and in that normal distri uh, distribution it will just generate some 10 random values so that's what this rand n method does so even through this you can just create right so yeah these are the most like these are the methods through which you can just create an array so yeah apart from this we just have some of the different ways right so you can just uh, by creating after creating a data frame you can just convert that data frame to a numpy array or like if you can, if you have a series or uh, series of values even just you can just convert that series to numpy using that two underscore num array right so we just have some few methods also but mostly we're going to use these methods to create an array and so that's it for this video so i hope you got an idea like how to create an array like what are the different ways you can just create an array in numpy so that's it for this video if you feel this video is helpful for you like the video and share to your friends whom the, whom you feel this video is helpful and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and thanks for watching